Hello my friend, greetings from Indonesia. I love to play MMORPG or other games that enables people from around the world to play together. In the game, we are all equal. We don't care about race, sex, gender, educational background, in what name you call God, or who do you think should be your next president now? Screw that. The only thing that separates us in the game is free to play and pay to win. And of course, if you still believe the earth is flat, like what's the matter with you, man? Come on. <laughs> All right. Silly opening. Let's just move on to the content. So in this video today, I want to test a game called Terra Hero 2.0. It's a Korean MMORPG and there is no global version at the moment. But still, it doesn't stop me from trying to play the game. Okay, I'm gonna skip the story part because I don't really understand what they're saying. And we have a tutorial because most of us are too dumb to use the directional pad. We have two main characters cooperating together. Easy tutorial, but what catches my attention is the graphic of the desert. It's very detailed. Look at the surface, look at the sand, and that ancient ruin in the background, the bright blue sky. Okay. Few seconds into the game and I'm impressed. Okay, let's continue. And now I popped out in the middle of this medieval city, which is definitely not anywhere around Europe in the mid centuries because no girls would dress like that back in the days. Some more auto quests, freebies. Introduction with the NPCs. Let's take a look around. Well, I would say this game has a very nice graphic. Look at the surrounding of the city. Good details. And I love the reflection of the sun on my character's armor. Oh yeah. Unreal Engine 4 does its magic as always. Okay, moving on. Wow! Wow! Oh, wow! Oh! What the fudge is this? Are these all playable characters? Uh, look, I'm sorry guys. There are many Terra series out there and this is the first time for me to try one of the Terra games. So I'm a virgin on this one. Please go slow on me, okay? Seriously, I must choose one of these? Uh, this is like a Korean girl band or boy band lineup where one group could consist of more than a dozen team members. How am I supposed to choose? Wow. Okay, this is a new experience. This is new. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Okay, I think I finally figured out how this character buffet restaurant works. You don't really get to choose any characters you want, but you can only choose the characters with the red dot and you purchase it with these blue glowing tickets. And if I'm not mistaken, we're supposed to choose the characters according to the pictures on the left side of the screen. So I'm guessing if we choose the characters according to the picture shown on the left side, then we could probably get some kind of maybe special buffs, special combo links, I don't know, but I'll just follow. I'll just play along then for now. So I decided to go with this little lowly girl. Since my main character is already a warrior type in the front line, so this girl, I think she's a magic user type, so she can provide support from the back line with a magic attack or maybe healing. Okay, let's see how it works. Wait a minute. 
Okay, so I think I get what the game is all about now. It's not an open world MMORPG as I thought at first. It's character collection game. But instead of using gacha system to get the new heroes, I'm guessing that we probably need to finish the game quest, the story quest, in order to unlock those new heroes that we see before. Okay. Let's see how the battle goes. Okay, let's have a look at the battle system. It's not a turn-based, it's more to action type. And you only get to control one character. And the cool thing is the battle map is in a 3D map in which you can rotate the camera 360 degrees. But unfortunately I don't see any typical combo chain in between characters, you know. Like they can link their ulti skills, performing combo attacks together, no. Here it seems they only fight by themselves with their own skills. And it seems that we can choose whether to control the characters manually or just using our skills. Well, I have played the game for a couple of hours, managed to collect about four, yeah, four characters so far. And one of the things that make the game a little bit different from other similar type is the base camp. So in other similar games, the base camp is more like a one full screen, all the menus and the buttons around the screen in which you can use to navigate from one quest to another, from one dungeon to another, or, or to your character screen. But in this game, the base camp is a 3D map, so you can walk around to meet the NPCs, to interact with the NPCs. It's a small map specially provided just for your character. You don't get to meet other players here. You have the blacksmith here, the potion, the shop, everything in this alley right here. Okay, this is something unique. And you can find all the characters that you have gathered here near this fountain. You can interact with them. You can talk to them. Nice. Unlike other similar games where we can use around five characters per team, in this game we can only use three. And the basic concept of character collecting RPGs still applies. You try to collect as many heroes as you can, level them up, gear them up, simply try to form the strongest group of characters. Okay, I think uh, this couple of minutes is enough to see what the game is really looked like. If there are any of you who happen to play the game as well, or have tried it before, please tell us what do you think about the game, or perhaps we can share our small stories about what other features in the game that I haven't been able to cover in this video yet. I'm just gonna leave you guys with one more footage from the battle.